Uh, this is in the second night and uh, session four continues chapter one. What on earth am I here for? Um, subtitle today is made to last forever. Everybody say one another. You are made to last forever. Is it amazing? You will live a hundred years on earth, but you will spend forever in eternity. Maybe if you live on earth, if you age, you hit hundred, only hundred years old. But yet, truth is, you are not end with life on earth you will have eternal life. One day, we cannot deny, our heart will stop beating. And there will be end of your body and your time on earth. It means your body is fired. Yes, expiration date. <laughs> Every one of you has expiration date for your body, not the, your spirit. Your earthly body is just temporary residence for your spirit. This is temporary. The Bible calls your earthly body very interesting. It says tent. But refer to your future body as a house. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1. It said. When this tent we live in, our body here on earth is, born, is torn down. God will have a house in heaven for us to live in, a home he himself has made which will last forever. Apostle Paul sent a letter to the church in Corinth and he said, this is the tent while living in on earth. But there is not only earthly body, there is heavenly body. Heavenly body is called house. What's the difference between tent and house? Tent is temporary. House is permanent. As long as you live, you want to stay in that place. We call it house. But tent is temporary. When you go to the camping, you put the tent. So it's amazing. Bible described our earthly body is referred as in the tent and our heavenly body referred as house. But we will, earthly body will someday transfer to heavenly body, but yet spirit in the body is still seen. Sin now, sin in the heaven. So, this is the reason our life is not temporary, it's everlasting. Only our body is temporary things. Remember, even I, I read one of the testimonies person died and he was in the bed his heart was stopped but he still can hear people around him is crying because of loss of beloved ones he can hear it he wants to speak to them but they cannot hear that's what the person experienced 
spirit can hear it, spirit can see it. Remember, even if a body is dead, but inside of a spirit is still alive. And can hear and can want to talk. But problem is people cannot hear. They continue crying and crying. There's a time the, the, the spirit realizes that, oh, I'm dead. That's the time spirit has a shock. Because it's first time experiencing something uncomfortable. Spirit stay in the temporary body, but was so comfortable. But suddenly, body is not anymore functioning. That's why spirit is some kind of shock. Because suddenly there's no tent. You know what? This person experienced. That's the time he saw a light comes from the heaven, and there was angels stand beside of that person. And as soon as angels arrived, his spirit was comforted. Why? The light comes from the angel is a light of love. Some kind of a light of the love is surrounding his body. His spirit, that's why it seems like the baby, the, the child was born birth, they cry now. Why? It's not comfortable. So comfortable in the womb of the mother, and suddenly it's outside, it's not comfortable. That's why I believe crying, not because, ah, now it's time, the, all the pain, all the suffering will start. No, I believe, because it's uncomfortable. But as soon as, in the, the child was arm over the father, arm over the mother, sense the love. That's the time they stop crying. Why? There's no language to understand. No words to understand. But the love. Exactly the same way. When person who believe Jesus Christ, who stopped in the beating of their heart, and their, their spirit is shocking because of the now, this is first time experiencing it. They heard about it, but this is first time experience. Seems like I'm disconnect with this world. I'm disconnect with the beloved people around me. But that's the time. The angel of the Lord appears with the light of the love, start carrying the spirit and helping the spirit bring to the fathers in heaven. So spirit was so comfortable. Glory. So spirit moved to give the heaven. And there's time comes. There will be what? Resurrection of the body we believe. Amen? Do you believe resurrection of the body? The new body? That's what the Bible says. Jesus was dead. But he was resurrected with a new body, transform the body. This is exactly what will be happening to us. The only difference is when Jesus was resurrected, he had a new body, but there was no old body left over. It was transformed. But ours, our old body was what? Decayed, going to the, the, uh, the, the, the earth. But our spirit will have spiritual form of new body. There is no suffer, there is no pain, there is no coronavirus. Hallelujah. <laughs> I know our bell had a virus already. That's why the sound is not good. <laughs> Seems like have a problem with the, in the uh, uh, throat. That's why our bell needed to repair, yeah? Make sound like a melody. <laughs> so you see, it's amazing. A lot of people looking for afterlife. What will be happen to the afterlife? There's no clear understanding unless they really come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Come to the, the truth. That's why we are so thankful the Bible is speaking to us. This is temporary body. It's tent. 
for we will have house in the future. But why we need a house? Because our spirit is everlasting. So we were made last forever. Amen. Last forever. This is what just ten. Hello. If you use a tent so long, what will be happen? It will be expired and be slowly what? Tearing up. Hello? You wear the shoes long time, hundred years, what will be happen? Yes. Your rubber will go away, no more. <laughs> Your body is the same. But thank God, that's why we need a new body. Amen? New body for the everlasting life. New body for the, our spirit live forever. That's why in the God made you and I last forever. So Abraham Lincoln said, Surely God will not have created such a being as a man to exist only for a day. No. Man was made for immorality. Immortality. 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 <laughs> immortality. <laughs> yes. English teacher, thank you. <laughs> immortality. It's amazing. You have to understand yourself. Who you are. You are made not for 100 years. You are made last forever. When you fully comprehend it, that there is more to life than just here and now, and you will realize that life is just preparation for eternity, you will begin to live differently. If you knew my life is not designed for a day, not designed for the 10 years, not designed for 100 years. My life was designed for everlasting. Then you have to live differently. Number one, relationship. Don't make enemy in here. Hello. If you have an enemy, love them. Why we have to love them? That enemy maybe came back to the Lord and we will see in the heaven face to face. Yes. Hello. Your enemy become your brother or your sister in the heaven, living everlasting together. Hello. Hallelujah. If you make an enemy here, how you can see in the heaven? <laughs> Hello. If you make so many enemies on earth, you have to live somewhere in the corner in the heaven. <laughs> Why? You are so shameful. You didn't follow the teaching of Lord Jesus Christ. Love your enemy. Forgive one another. Hello. Number one, if you knew we are made for the last, what is most important for me is a relationship. Don't say, hey, I will not see you anymore. Bye-bye. And then I go back. No. We are designed and made what? Forever. Hello. Do you understand? What is so important now? That's why everything is about relationship. Community life in here. What is the important relationship? This relationship will not end just one year because you committed or two years. No. This relationship will not end. It will be continuous until to the everlasting life. Hello. Amen. Be good. Good. To one another. Hello. Be nice to one another. Hello. Amen. If you are really having something hindi or something you feel unforgiven, sorry, you really do not understand. 
You are made not just for the day, not just for the month. You are made for the everlasting. Mm -hmm. Are you going to carry that kind of relationship? No. Mm -hmm. One time, while I was doing in the pastoral work in California, I had one of the deacons. I see he's a really problem in the church. He's against me badly. That's why one time he said, I will not come to the bed, come to this church anymore. I said, yes, yes, please don't come. Just go and they will come back. <laughs> That's what I said. Because he said he's, he wants to leave. So I'm happy to leave. But you know what? Time goes by, I realized that, ah, that was wrong. So I visit, I went to their house. Personally, I restored the relationship. Hello. Do you understand um, how really damage I got? That's why I saw so angry. Oh, wait, okay, thank you. Do not come back to this church. Uh, and pastor. <laughs> <laughs> That's why when I look back my ministry before, <laughs> so childish. <laughs> So, does I keep on going? So that's why I believe in the one of the uh, point in here, you will handle every relationship, task, and circumstance differently. Not only relationship, task given to you, circumstances. Maybe you will now look different away. This is not a temper we are talking about for last everlasting life. So Philippians chapter 3 verse 7, Apostle Paul said, I once thought all these things were so very important, but now I consider them worthless because of what Christ has done. He talking about Everything he put the value. But now, after he found Jesus Christ, he found his identity, he found his, he was made for last forever. He put everything, what? Less value. Before he put so much value on it. But now he realized that, no. What is it really worth? Why is it really important to have life which is everlasting? So, our, in the point, our verse of remember, everybody, let's read all together. 1 John chapter 2, verse 17. This word is fading away along with everything it craves. But if you do the will of God, you will live forever. Everything will fade away. Everything will disappear. But only those who are doing the will of God will live forever. Amen. Doing the will of God. As Lord Jesus says, I am doing will of the Father. Since we are made for last forever. What we have to stop something doing? What should we continue to do? That is passion. Let's pray together tonight. We are made last forever. What we want to do? I want to do will of my Father. I live on us to do the His will. Because me, I'm not, it was not starting from me. I'm not designed my life. It is Him. He designed. He had a purpose. That's why I want to do will of God while I'm living on earth. Because that is 
real life will last forever. Mm. Let's pray. Let us close our eyes. And if you have a sermon, still relational problem with somebody in here, or somebody in your home, somebody is far away, it's time. Lord, I do not make the person to be my enemy, or I do not want to hold their sins or whatever things they have done. I do not hold things. I want to release it. I want to just in the release because I want to have right relationship in you to everyone, living together as a family forever and ever. Enjoy your given life. Christianity is all about relationship. Relationship with the Father, relationship with one another in the love. If we doing this, we are fulfilling His plan. He, we are fulfilling what He really wants us to do. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're still holding something, bear your burden. Just, just put it beside us. It's not that important. That is just decay. Go away. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Rabbaya. Handa Rabbaya. Whatever words touch in your heart, whatever words hit your mind, just speak to God. Speak to God. Yes, O oh Lord, I was saying for last, forever and ever. Oh Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, O oh Lord, you designed me not just to live hundred years. Lord, you, you designed me to live everlasting. Life. Oh Father, this is just temporary end. I have on earth. I know this will be this deal, this deal. someday will ruin. Someday this deal, the deal hell will no longer function. No. But I know, but this is a temporary one. But in me, spirit, soul, which is truly who I am, which is the everlasting God. Last forever and ever. That's how you made the world. Lord, I'm so thankful that, oh God, I was made last forever, oh God. Immortality, oh God, oh God. Like you, oh Lord. Oh, thank God. Hallelujah, oh God. And then this time, oh my God, I do not want to leave just in the temple. I leave for the everlasting, oh God. I want to, oh God, pursue this everlasting purpose. Everlasting is in the values of God. As the Pastor Paul said, I live doing the will of the Father of God. Yes, O Lord, I want to do the will of the Father by living in the of the Father. Very true message, Father. O Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. Whoever has a broken relationship with God, Lord, restore them. Restore the relationship of God. Love one another, O God. Share the one another, O Father. Lord, that's what you want, O Father. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let us sing a song.
Ajenda again. Um, one of the Ajenda today, um, uh, there was a suddenly phone call from the Bong Berset. Uh, he is, uh, uh, I would you know, uh, 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 Bong, as Bong, Bong Berset is the first son. And uh, uh, he said he is in trouble, he has so many uh, legal issues and so on and so on. And then he, he just uh, uh, called me and he wanted to talk to me, he wanted to meet me. So it has been seven years. Mm -hmm. Maybe some of you have no other history. If you were there at that time, so you know. Yeah. Uh, born in the Merced, is in the, our partner. Uh, he was in the uh, uh, owner of the Psych Hotel before, and also in the founder of the New Wine Scheme, the International uh, Foundation. And actually, he became a partner to start Axis Asia Graduate School in the Transfer Studies in his ability mm -hmm. and then later on he entrusted me and put me as in the chairman of the foundation mm -hmm. and then he was the even in the he want me to uh, his legal in the uh, guidance guiding guidian guidian uh, for all the in the properties of the I rejected because I have no right as foreigner. So that's why I rejected that's how he trust me and then but he left the last will, how all the property to be in the given to be the children. But yet, children doesn't want to be the listen to the father, and uh, the will was still not yet opened until seven, after seven years, uh, still in the court. But uh, that's why the building in the, in the axis, uh, that is actually in the, under the foundation, but in the still there is an unsettled agenda. That's why we could not do anything to the uh, complete the building project or complete use all the facility. It was hanged for seven years. And now finally he called me, but I don't know what is his problem. He has so much in the issues. So but anyway, um, in me, I'm not interested in any property or anything. My interest is the will of the uh, my fellow minister, the Bon Merced, the will should be continued carry, and his ministry he willing to uh, want to be continuous, which is access mm -hmm. to be continuous in his place. Mm -hmm. So that's only my desire. Actually, under the foundation, there's a, a lot of properties, uh, house in uh, in uh, Diamond. Diamond, uh, Diamond Hill or Diamond, I forgot the place already. Near to the, the Japanese, in the college mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it is about three thousand, uh, uh, almost three thousand square meter house. In the which family is almost uh, uh, ten million in the above, and then the, the is long and also one property we have. I am, I am the chairman of the foundation in Azar, Azar, uh, Azaria, 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 Azaria. Yes. <laughs> so technically, I am working the one month. <laughs> I am the co-ownership team. <laughs> anyway, and then in the foundation building is known to us in the there, and they're also going to be in the Hanabo. Uh, uh, there on the left side, there's another big land. It's also part of the land is close to the foundation. So it's a, it's a really, really heavy for me um, what to do. But the most important thing is uh, let us pray. Uh, seven, we pray many years to solve this problem because um, it was not stepped properly before he departed to the heaven. Um, that's why he left the last will, but he's not honored by the, his uh, wife and his children. That is the actual problem. Nobody can touch anything. So um, maybe after seven years, maybe it's time to settle the agenda, maybe the one by one. Um, most important is honoring will of the born Merced. His last will should be in the uh, taken by children and respect to the father.
sensitive. I don't know what's inside. Uh, he actually he want to give everything. Even he want to give uh, two thousand square meter lot in the uh, to Margetti nearby the beach from. I said no, I don't need it. I am not going there to to use. He said no, no use for the ministry. No, I have no plan for the other the place. Give it to somebody else. <laughs> but anyway, so um, that's me. Somebody want to give, I'm the one who reject. <laughs> Somebody want to give the lot in Sarangani, one hectare. Oh, Pastor Tim, I want to give this lot. No, I have no plan over there. <laughs> Somebody want to give Kaba, beside of the National Highway, uh, about 6,000 square meters. Pastor Tim, use it for the school of mission. No, that's not the place we're going to build the school of mission. Sorry. <laughs> uh, in the Philippines, somebody want to donate, you will receive <laughs> to the church. For me, I rejected already several times. Uh, if not the will of God, mm -hmm. I'm not receiving. Mm -hmm. okay. Let us pray for the, the axis. Let us pray for the, the property to be settled the proper way, and especially give the honor of the born merced to be in the, uh, respected by children and wife so that everything will be settled in peace and harmony. Let us pray for the unsolved agenda in mission motivators, which is we are also having unsolved. <laughs> Supposed to be second floor, third floor should be used for the faculty and also dormitory. <laughs> but anyway, and the fourth floor should be classroom. <laughs> yes, let us pray. Oh,
Belarus, Belarus, um, Belarus, and that's the place uh, they want to try to attack in the capital of the Ukraine once again. It means the war will become worse if that happens. And it's really time that in the Russia should be withdraw wherever they invaded. They are the one who illegally take the main country, the, prop, uh, the, the other side of the country, for their own benefit. Let us pray. Still, many people under suffering, and many people lost their family. We want to bring the peace in their land. Let us pray that in the Russia, we draw completely wherever they are invading in the uh, other side of the, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, property or land. Let us pray that the end of the world in a month no longer will be continuous in the day. Let us pray. Church in the land. But as mission motivators, 
we do not go where there is already a church in the exist. We go where there is no church. So that is one of the, our challenge. I don't know if this funds really for what God is answering to us, but actually we are actually planned also having a farm and also there will be a church ministry for the, uh, uh, that place. Uh, but let's pray that in the where is the really right place? Maragosan, mm -hmm. uh, which is only no title, only right. And also in the Agosan, it's three hectares, it's tighter. But I don't know if there is church nearby or not. According to the Sir J, uh, there are uh, uh, several churches in the town. Uh, but several maybe kilometers away, I don't know that they were near the farm that people needing or not. So that's still questionable. That's why I asked the, uh, Dr. Dario today if the request once again to for the uh, land, uh, possible farming and same time in the church plenty in that place. So they give the permission during uh, maybe one week or uh, they go and also learn about farming in also in the uh, with the hand on experience or on the field there will be another in the trade in the experience and also in our staff can go there in the during the vacation and maybe retreat sometimes they can uh, refresh from our the center spend time in prayer and then in the helping the church ministry or we can use a retreat center we can use many ways. So let us pray that in the, uh, we pray for the mission farm, but now uh, it's, it's almost the same idea, but uh, clear properties, we do not know where, who will be the one who will be assigned there, who has really calling in this area. Let us pray.
Center, you are trained. That's right. 